Yo, what's going on guys with my channel? Today we're back on some Madden Ultimate Team and I've been grinding today. Like look, look, look. I got Troy Aikman as my quarterback. Last time y'all know I had this trash can. But now I got Troy Aikman, he's pretty good. I got me an RG, I got me an LT overall 80. I bought him for some coins because someone was selling them, so I bought him. You know, I bought I got that guy, I think I bought him too. I bought this guy, he's a level 80 bro, he's good. I think I earned that guy somehow, and I got this guy. I got some good players now, all right? My team overall is only 70. I'm still working up there. I only got 8,000 coins left. So I'm trying to buy some more elite players, but only got like 8,000 coins right now. I right? ain't that much, all right? We want to do a solo battle, actually. We haven't, I haven't even did one of those before. I've been doing challenges, getting coins, getting players, getting a lot of coins so I can buy players. You already know. Uh, since we're only, oh, the lowest one is only 80. Wait, what about my rank? Oh, wait, I don't know what this is. Uh, wait, feed your opponent, what is this? Veterans? Okay, we'll just do 80. That's the lowest one right now, I guess, so. Let's just do it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, rookie, war rookie. Bam. See what's up with them, see what's up with them. Because we are goaded. Whoa, our lights just blinked. That was weird, our lights blinked. Okay, okay, let's do this, brothers. Now legend missiles, missions available. Complete missions to get. Yeah, I've been doing missiles. That's why I've been getting all my good players at doing these missions. Because you already know. But I bought a lot of my players. The coach here, welcoming you to another installment of Madden. Let's go. We still need a better kicker. I should have. I should have bought a. The kick on kick team on the field now as they will send this one away. Maybe after this, I see how many coins I got. See if I can buy This is taken at the three. Might be. And look at this! Oh, right away, a loose football. Yeah, and a football. Yeah, a super return as he gets this all the way down inside the 25-yard line. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Oh, the jet sweep, oh, no. here comes Moore. Oh, no. oh. And he will fight his way oh, into the end zone oh, for a Cowboy touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Great field position has to be one of the best friends an offense can have. When you don't have very far to go, you should cash it in with points. Dawson able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here we go. Here we go. Mike, I Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now the young man was a pro bowler as an undrafted rookie. It's Philip Lindsay. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first down, right back to Lindsey. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Now on second and 13. Luck has got his man. It's Andrews. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Now it's Locke. Over the middle, complete. That's Andrews. 
I and he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice. It all came together. I bet you got galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. That one good for 33 and a first. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. First down, here's Aikman sliding out of the pocket. And this is caught for the Cowboy touchdown. Ian Thomas there to make the grab. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Well, that didn't take long. The turnover instantly almost turning into points. And when that happens, a lot of teams have the mentality of let's strike right now. You've got them off balance after the turnover or the takeaway. Let's go get it. And that's exactly what they did. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. This is taken at his four. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit, 14-0 the score as they regroup with first and 10. The throw here to Andrews, the tight end. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. The end result, 21 yards. I feel for some of these guys nowadays because it is so tough to be able to run with these tight ends. Their speed, their elusiveness, especially when they run across the field. Because you're not just running with him, you're trying to run through some traffic as well. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. From the 50, it's long. Eluding the pressure right. And he slides to avoid the hit. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. On first and 10, it's Aikman. And he's got the hook up to Moore. Oh, he's got a little daylight. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. Touchdown, Cowboys. Herman Moore, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. This is taken at his four. And he'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. 
Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. Want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, buffet. Okay. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, it I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. Now Locke. He'll find Lindsay oh, here. Oh, oh now Lindsay lost the, the football. football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not going to tip it. I'm going to dock my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. He'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. The 20. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster, 43 yards. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Dawson tacks on the point after, and the route is on here in this first half. This is taken at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Andrews. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Luck now nearly perfect. Nine of ten in this first half. It's first and ten. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was looking to get it to Phillip Lindsay there. And it's second down. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. I smell fear in that Throwing again is Locke. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. So back to back incompletions and that has him staring at a third and 10. So a jump there defensively. That's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Now a play fake, and it's locked. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 38-yard line. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Lock. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. He was looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews, there. But it'll be second down. Back to the air. Lock on second down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And now look at him go. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. That pick six extending this lead even further. Boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out to start the third quarter. But things don't improve fast then. I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. 
focus on that. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 to throw his love. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And that'll wind up incomplete. Trying to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. This is taken at his four. Oh, nice spin. Oh, that brought back bad memories. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive. Just about set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They begin here with a run by West. He goes airborne. And some space here. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. He gets it to Thomas. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 Let's go, yards. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds oh. or being erased off of the chart. Kendrick West. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five yard line. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Buying time to his left. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. To throw his Aikman. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Love his pocket awareness, able to slip out of the sack. But once you take your eyes off the receivers, once your eyes come down and you see the rush, hard to get back. And he is into the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. Ian Thomas, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. In order to lead in the game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Let's go! Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. They follow up that gigantic gain with the tiniest of pickups, one yard. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Here's Lock. Open man, Taylor Gabriel. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Here's Locke. Steps away. And an alley. Now a hit, and Locke lost the football. It's out. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. A place like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit a partner. 
You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was a nice school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level you hit him. Devontae Booker. He's at the 40. 20. 40. 20. 10. Touchdown, Cowboys. It's a kickoff return of 94 yards as his guys continue to pour it on. Well, they're just having fun. I mean, they are clicking on every single cylinder, offense, defense, and here are special teams. And how about the extension of the lead? This one felt a lot like, you remember Seattle-Denver Super Bowl 48? Percy Harvin to start the second half. Seattle was already firmly in control. Now, they feel like they can't be caught. Yeah, they are firmly in control right now. This is taken at the three. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. They weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive. Now the ball comes oh, loose. Fumble. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down this big in the fourth Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. This is going to sound crazy, but that type of a carry, big time run, actually brings a high and a low to it. The high, of course, is the run. But the low, he didn't quite get to the end zone, just short of the pylon. What do you think he's doing in the huddle right now? Guaranteed, he's lobbying for the football. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? No gain on the play. And what to do now on fourth and goal? They'll run for it with West. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, this game is definitely over, but we do know some people like to go ahead and continue to add to their score, don't we? Yeah, I, I don't know that they need to add any more right now, though. I'm just starting to think about those dinner plans tonight, my friend. Well, you and I will be thinking about dinner plans, but we also know they're playing people are thinking, how can I get some more scores for my fantasy, for other things? They're trying to figure that part out now. By the way, last weekend we went sushi because that's what you wanted. We're going steak tonight. I'm in. All right. And we are inside a two minutes it's left in this lopsided affair so it's Jets football as we get your reset here and let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over throwing his lob, screen pass to Lindsay a good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets a made facing a second and two after that last catch good for eight yards now luck this one complete to the running back, Lindsey. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. The Jets on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. Here's Locke. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. And this is Gabriel on the catch. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Looking to throw again on second down. Luck. This is caught. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. 
And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film. But this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. This is taken at the three. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at him turn. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Fights loose, and he breaks through another tackle. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. On second down, it's West. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, Ooh. negative yardage. Pass the 20. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, I've got a laugh here, and I really don't want to because the old school in me is not happy about this score this late, not necessary. But this is Madden, isn't it? Yeah. This, is how, this is how it works. Rub it in. Have a day. I mean, wh what does it matter? <laughs> These guys who are playing in this game, there are no feelings Exactly. There. They don't have to face the guy. Well, they might if they're in the same room going head to head. <laughs> but that's the about virtual it. guys on the screen don't have to face each other after this one. In that case, run it up. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to. There he goes, right side. And a little bit of a consolation prize there. He's into the end zone. Won't win him the game, but they do get the score with all zeros showing. But some fantasy players are really happy with that score. Doesn't affect the outcome, but hey, nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play. Could it affect other things? Sometimes the, these types of scores are ones that we don't consider big at the time. Nice. All y'all was a little gold. Well, I probably won't do any more of those, eh? Because that's all we got. Oh, yeah, kicker. We need a kicker. Let's see if we can buy one. Go to action for trade. Trade house. Okay. I'll put some stuff in. I'll put. Someone can buy a uh, Cooper. He's on the Cowboys. He's really good. If y'all, if anyone out there plays it, I'll put him out there. Cooper. I gotta show y'all guys that. Let's put it in. Let me try to get me a tie. Kicker. Yep, 80 overall kick. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, it's too much. 11,000 to buy it? I can't buy a kicker, boys. It's 11,000. I only got 9,000 because I buy one some other time. But yeah, Mari Cooper is like, he's a pretty good. He's like 62, I don't know, something like that. In the 60s, don't know. He's pretty good anyway, boys. Hope you do like, subscribe. If you like some more, do another episode. Might start a series on playing something, something. Which one is it that you get to play against people in draft? We might do some draft, maybe the knockout tournament, season on him. More solo battles. I know it's more challenging part D, but catch you guys next time. Peace.